All right, so now the next thing I want to point out for this uh, specific application is the fact that if you're doing a mold that we're going to be injecting plastic into, you have to take into consideration that uh, the text is not going to come out the way you think it's going to come out. So right now I have e slide in um, put on here as if I can read it as is. But if I were to inject plastic into this, it would actually read opposite. It's kind of like how on an ambulance, they usually write ambulance backwards on the front of it so that when you're looking at it through a rear view mirror, you can actually read ambulance. It's the same thing here. In order for the text to come out correctly on the injected parts, we have to flip the text in the actual mold. And so the way we're going to do that is after you have the text already in, already wrapped to the curve, you have everything how you want it, you just highlight the text, you're going to go into mirror, which is right over here under the edit vectors. There's a mirror selected vectors option. And then in this application, all I want to do is I want to flip horizontal. And then you can see that it flips everything so that it's written backwards, e slide in. But when I inject that in the mold, it's going to be correct. And so that's all I would have to do. Now you can use mirror for other things. Like let's say I had um, I wanted to flip this and I wanted to make create a mirrored copy and I wanted to put one up top. It would actually make a copy and it would put it up top. So a mirror is used for a multi multiple variety of things, but in this specific application, um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that last one. For this specific application, all I wanted to do was mirror the text horizontally so that it flips and it'll be legible on our actually uh, plastic injection products.